All right, thanks everybody for coming and, and being quiet for so long, even though we weren't speaking yet. Um, I think most of you know me. I am the Eastern Region Outreach Director for SSDP. My name is Amber Langston. Okay, 
But anyway, so you guys, you all are much younger than me. You all are really the test subjects. How old were you in 1994? Just shout out your age. Seven. Okay, you were little kids. You were in grade school. Okay, that's when they started feeding us a milk that has GMO substances in it. The RBGH that's used to increase milk production in dairy. That was the first GMO product to go in the marketplace. And now, GMOs are just about everywhere. They're in corn, soy, cotton, and canola, which you'll find in the small ingredients of most of the processed foods that are on our shelves in the grocery store. And next year, they're probably going to have sugar, that's GM, in just about everything. So now's the time to stand up against GM sugar. All right, so getting back to industrial hemp specifically, we all know that industrial hemp is a very sustainable crop, and most of our clothes are made out of something else, made out of cotton. Conventional cotton requires one-third pounds of chemical fertilizers and pesticides to produce one pound of cotton fabric. And incredibly, almost half of all agricultural chemicals used in the U.S. are applied to cotton. Cotton is the larger, largest user of water among all agricultural commodities. And estimates indicate that cotton represents more than half of the irrigated agricultural land in the world. So cotton absorbs a lot of resources and is very polluting. And industrial hemp does not require a lot of resources and is not polluting. It requires no pesticides, it's not GMO, and it can be farmed without irrigation. And wearing a hemp t-shirt instead of a conventionally grown cotton one saves, oh, I think that's yeah, 1,900 kilojoules of energy, 0 0.0002 acres of land, 744 gallons of water, and 0.17 pounds of chemical fertilizer, and 0 0.0011 pounds of toxic pesticides. So just multiply that through your wardrobe, and you can look at the good that you're doing if you purchase hemp products rather than cotton. So what makes industrial hemp a really fantastic crop is if it's farmed organically. Uh, organic industrial hemp farming pulls greenhouse gases out of the atmosphere by capturing carbon in the biomass of the plant, in the stalk and the leaves, as well as in the soil. Now, if you understand organic agriculture, you may not know that, that the idea, well, I work for the Organic Consumers Association, so I probably know something you don't about this. Um, you have to transition your crop for three years in order to get organic certification. And I always thought before I got really involved in the topic that you get three years to go organic as a farmer to get the nasty stuff out of your soil, get all the pesticide and chemical fertilizer residues out of there. But really the reason is to increase the organic content of the soil because the food that we eat relies on pulling everything it's got in there, all the vitamins and minerals and nutrients out of the soil. And in order to make healthy, productive food, you have to have rich soil full of organic matter. And so that's what we do when we farm organically. And so that's what industrial hemp can do also, being farmed organically. Organic industrial hemp using animal manure instead of conventional natural gas fertilizer can, like other organic crops, fertilized with manure, sequester more carbon than any other land use, including wetlands and forests. Now that's an amazing fact. Organic agriculture sequesters carbon, more than forests, more than wetlands. And that's because we're trapping all of these carbon, carbon gas and turning it into organic matter and trapping it into the soil where it's never going to leave. You know, a forest can burn down, you, you cut the crop out and take it to market, but the soil traps the carbon matter and it traps it forever. So, you know, of any other land use, organic agriculture might be the best one. And industrial hemp is not always farmed organically. <clears throat> we have to, to eschew the use of natural gas fertilizers and farm hemp organically. So organic farming increases soil carbon up to 28%. And when we're talking about greenhouse gas emissions, in agriculture, agriculture is one of the hugest sectors of greenhouse gas polluters. And 6% of the total greenhouse gas emissions are related to natural, the use of natural gas fertilizers. So if we're growing industrial hemp and we're using natural gas fertilizers instead of manure, we're not really saving the planet as much as we can. So buy industrial hemp and buy organic industrial hemp. 